Mark America. I uh, did a video about this maybe three months ago, um, but it's highly important. And so I want to elaborate and go a little deeper on it. So when you decide to take 100% full responsibility for everything that happens in your life, massive changes and shifts start to happen. Um, because what happens is when we blame a situation or a circumstance, we're saying, oh, well, I can't have that because I'm in this position or because this happened, I'm going to have to do that. Well, you're f effectively becoming a victim of circumstance. And when you become a victim, you're telling yourself that you have no power and no control to change it. Well, we're all 100% responsible for the way we feel. So when we start to take full responsibility for everything that happens in our life, even the things that may seem like we have no control over, you're becoming a victim. Victims are powerless and they don't get anything accomplished because they're constantly being dictated to by situations, circumstance, and environment. I refuse to do that. So why do I bring this up? Well, because I'm going to talk about my responsibility and your responsibility um, in the decline of the American food supply. Well, shit, you're not the big corporations that spray and pesticides, genetically mo modifying food. You're not the ones that you know are mass producing grains, stripping all the nutrients out and fortifying them with fake synthetic vitamins that are not very bioavailable that your body can't even really absorb and use. No, is that is that out of your control, what they put on the food? Absolutely. So what is it in your control? Supporting the proper companies. So if we were to stop eating like Frito-Lay chips, right? If we were to stop eating them as a society, what would happen? They'd go out of business. They wouldn't be able to make profit. Uh, their inventory wouldn't be out of, you know, they wouldn't be running out of inventory, getting to produce more. And these businesses would eventually collapse. So there's grass-fed meat in Walmart now. Do you know why there's grass-fed meat in Walmart? Because consumers are starting to demand it. So Walmart is actually losing out on money by not supplying grass-fed. That's why we're seeing grass-fed Kerrygold butter almost in every single store now. When it used to be you would had to go to a health food store or something like that to get it. So shit, when you really look at the whole thing and you pull off the layers, you, myself, and the rest of society is responsible for allowing the decline of the food supply. Because we've basically said, okay, the food supply is declining, but we're still gonna choose to eat that stuff, support these companies, and therefore their business is gonna keep being profitable, growing, and they're going to negatively affect more Americans. So it starts with you in each one of your households. It starts with you educating your ch our children properly on the right types of foods to buy, the right businesses to support, because there are a lot of evil corporations, and these evil corporations continue to thrive because you and myself and everybody else allows them to. So what I'd like to encourage you guys to, to do now is to take a stand, right? To not let that garbage in your household anymore. To clean out the cupboards and dis, you know, get rid of processed food. If even 60% of America started to eat this way and started to not support processed food companies that manufacture processed food, we'd be in a lot better shape, right? We would have, because what would happen is they would start to produce more of the food that we're eating. So if we were eating better, cleaner food, they would start to produce that and the American food supply as a whole would improve. So you're responsible for the food in your cupboard. You're responsible for your results. You're responsible for being overweight, being in pain, everything. You're responsible for the food on the shelves in the store. It's kind of scary, but when we take responsibility, we shift, we change, we dominate, and we impact the world in a positive manner. This is Tyson James Lee, and I'm just about that action, boss.